Richard, the new SWPL2 season starts this Sunday. How excited are you for that trip to, to Queen's Park? Um, I'm really excited. Um, the girls are ready. I think we've um, had some good pre-season games, good experience. Um, played some tough games, tough opponents. Um, and I think, like I say, they're, they're ready and you can hear them in the background there. They're, they're all, they always come to training with an energy and they come to games with an energy. And I'm, I'm looking forward to for them to get out on the pitch and, and, and show Brian and myself what, uh, and Doc what, um, what they can do. The new management team's now been in place for about a month. How have you found things so far in general? It's been really good. Um, it's a great bunch to work with. Um, I think that they're very, you know, they're very attentive. They listen to what you're saying. They try and implement what you what you you're asking them to do. Um, and you know they're inquisitive. They ask questions. Um, and as, as a management team, that's what we want. We want to, you know, the, to be a, an engaging experience for both both us and them. Um, and like I say, they're they're very good and they work very hard. And and, and that's all we can ask. You mentioned formation there. Do you feel like these pre-season games have given you a good idea of what you want to go with, both formation-wise and personnel-wise, this summer? Yeah, you know, you, you can never rule anything out. You know, we kind of we look to we look at every training session and, and we want the girls to kind of give it their all and, and perform to the best of ability each session. Um, and and to be fair, they have done that. But it's it's going to be very difficult come Sunday to pick the team because you know we've we've probably got 14, 15 players who have done enough to start the game, and I suppose that's the side of management that. That no one enjoys it is leaving anyone out, especially kind of um, part-time football. But that's the nature of the beast. You know, we together collectively want to win this league, um, and so we have to we try and pick the best team that we think can achieve the the win on, on Sunday. Yeah, and this evening is the last training session before the game. What's the, the final message going to be to the girls ahead of the game? I think it's going to be relax. Um, I think a lot of the girls are better players than they they themselves realise. I think they can, they, like I said, they do all the stuff that we ask them to do. They can. They keep the ball moving they, they defensively, they, they know where they should be, they're organised, but I think they just need to relax and actually have a bit of self-belief. Um, Brian and I have seen them, obviously now for, for just over a month, and we've been very impressed. And it's just, sometimes we wish they could see us through our eyes because I, I, I still get the feeling that some of them don't realise the, the talent that they actually have. Um, and so hopefully, hopefully that'll come over the season. And if we start, to, we start the season well and start winning games, the confidence will grow and, and, and players will kind of come into their own. But, like I say, we're in, we seem to be in a good place. Um, they're always buzzing. They're always they're always ready to go. Um, and I think if we get that level of energy on, on Sunday with the quality we've got, um, I think we'll we'll do enough to win the game. Thanks for your time, Richard. Good luck for Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you.